Ja. Hello. Stream is starting. Oh, it's nice to be on stream. Oh. Hi, I'm Black Cat for anyone who doesn't know. I do variety gaming, mainly dungeon crawlers and RPGs and some open world games. I've been playing a lot of Path and also some Pal World and what else do I play? Play some Seven Days. You know, all that. A lot of Path though. Hi, Ron. How are you? Oh, and I'm tired. Had a busy day. Not a bad day, just a busy one. And honestly, I'm pretty excited to play Path. I haven't played for a couple days because I've been, well, busy. And I am happy to be jumping into it again. Okay, I did a bunch of things since last time. Yep, all the forks are here. Wandering around my base. Honestly, I feel like my base would be very empty without them now. I've just gotten so used to, like, my little astronaut frog wandering around and, like, my other ones. Like, they're everywhere. There's the flaming ones there, and... I mean, there's the two really cool ones that are following me. You've really upgraded my base with this. <laughs> okay, so I feel like I've done something since I was last on stream. I'm trying to remember what it is, though. I know that I only had like 5% XP last time. So I did a lot of uh, grinding and stuff. Did just a bunch of generic maps and stuff. I believe I once and did another Katarina at some point. Or is that last stream? Can't remember the life of me. But I'm up to I think three Veiled Chaos in four Katarina runs so far. So I've gotten 36. No. I've gotten 33 div just from Katarina this this league. Which is where my money is coming from. Honestly, I funded everything from Katarina. Uh, she's amazing. I feel like I did something. I don't... I don't think I've actually messed with my gear too much at all. Lately. No, I haven't even touched my gear since the last time. No, I think I've just been making money and making progress on my maps a lot. We're up to 96 points completed now. We've done most things on the Atlas. So, we have 19 more to go. And in four more points, we get another Atlas passageway. Well, that's nice. Hmm... There's something changed, though. I just can't place what it was. If anything. Oh, well, I guess I'm just going insane. I knew it was going to happen eventually. Oh, yeah, I did want to up my strength a bit more. Because I need 159 in strength uh, minimum for this build to run. If I want to have my steel skin as high as it is. And I am getting 30 from prowess right now. And I don't want to be using prowess. I'd ideally like to swap something out so that I can have enough strength. That fits strength onto something. I don't know what. Technically, if I was okay tanking my chaos res, I could swap this out at a heartbeat strength. The, uh, fire and Chaos for that res passive.
Honestly, these gloves are the weakest part of my build. And I know, uh, we're talking about gloves with 102 max life on them. That's pretty damn high, but... That's a tier 1 and a tier 2 life together. I don't really need the hinder on hits uh, with spells, though. Not, it doesn't really help me that much. So that I probably should be replacing. You give me another extra uh, suffix to work with. Otherwise, these are really good gloves. If it wasn't for the fact that I need more strength. I don't know. Work on that more a bit later. We're going to keep pushing maps. There's still like the one or two random yellow maps I don't have. I think for non-red maps, I have Sunken City and Excavation left. But otherwise, I don't really have many maps left to do, as you can probably see. I've done this before stream, but I'm going to check really quickly if I can make any of the maps that I need. Then I have most everything up to there, okay. I guess I could actually use my Kirak. That would be probably worthwhile to do. Oh! Okay, I hate Crimson Temple. Pit map. Glacier maps. Academy. Plaza. Arrows? Arrows. Okay. Oh, we got a new one. For some reason, I'm trying to be, like, super careful with my Kirak missions. Maybe because I'm just not generating very many this league. I don't know why. Oh! I have four joys. Sexy. Let's do that for the extra XP gain. I'm not too afraid of it, either. Anything crazy here? No. Actually, we should run poor joys. Good for XP. And I'll get the Crimson Temple after. On my auto steel skin. It's a bit weird flicking automation on and off. But it's not annoying me when I'm not when I'm in the base, but I'm starting to get used to it. I'm very happy they added the automation skill gem to just automatically trigger instant skills. It definitely was a good choice on their part. Because for the longest time, like it's been a part of automated skills have been a part of the game for a very long time. There's no good reason to pretend like they're not a thing. Most builds have an automated skill. I mean, I have three, technically. No, I have four automated skills, actually. Detonate mines and steel skin, triggering automatically on automation. And then I have phase run and frost shield on cast when stunned. I specifically made sure that my phase run is on my Caspian stunned and not on my automation, despite the fact that would work. Because it'll eat my frenzy charges just too much, and I don't really want to have to deal with that. 
Okay, we're not doing that. In fact, swap playlist. I haven't actually tried automation on my phase run yet. I don't know how bad it would be, but I just I don't want it to be eating my all my frenzy charges every I don't know, four seconds I think it is. Oh god, I ambush again. No. Mark my words, ambush is going to kill me. One of these days, just for, like, pure... Just for pure chaos, I think I, I want to put automation... Or, I want to do automation uh, ambush as, like, an actual skill. <laughs> Like, they'll just be throwing me around constantly, but it would be kind of funny! Don't... No! Don't put Kitty in a cage! Eh. Yeah. That'd be kind of funny on a Flicker Strike build, autom having an automated... Uh, Ambush. Because you're already teleporting around with Flicker Strike. It's no loss to be thrown around a bit more. Ow. Are some of those explosions not mine? Very hard to tell. I mean, those ones are mine. Don't teleport me into the mess. <laughs> That's all I can say. Just please don't. Oh, it looks like ambush is over. It'll be really funny to have a... just insane teleporting everywhere character. That makes me wonder, maybe you could do something where you're swapping between the two flicker strikes? Because there's a new flicker strike with transmog gems. Which allows you to eat uh, power charges to skip the cooldown instead of frenzy charges. Power charges tend to be a bit easier to get. Because you could swap between the two of them, so you could just you could do a weapon swap where your your flicker strike is in your weapon, and when you run out of frenzy charges, you swap over to you just hit weapon swap and you start eating your power charges instead and swap back and so on so forth. Though most flicker strike builds manage to just give enough frenzy charges that you don't actually need to worry about that. Oh my gosh, you could do, uh... You could automate... You could automate Ambush, and you could have, uh, Body Swap in cast when stunned. Or in cast when damage taken. And then you could use Lecture Strike. The I don't know where I am help build.
What am I working on? Oh, yeah. Come to shrine. By the way, this... <laughs> this is really fun to me. So, the Exiles passageway we made last time, just so that uh, we could... Uh, better farm the exiles from strong boxes in that one thing. I named the Oops All Exiles passive tree. <laughs> oh, I'm quite happy with that. I need to like entirely redo it to make it. that's not very I also want to like set it up properly for Einhar because it's not set up for Einhar right now. I just have to remember which which area it is that is the better one. I think it's Sequoia and uh, Phenomus that are the most important ones. Whatever, I'll figure that out later. Oh, wait, no. Gotta swap back. Crimson Temple now. EXP. Oh god. No. Not Meteor on Death. Why do you hate me? Oh, sure, whatever. Oh, I didn't actually check Kirak after I activated him. Observatory. Have a conservatory? Oh, seriously. I don't have a conservatory map. I'll take you. Uh, should I get an arena map? Yes, I should, because I don't have one. Almost done. I mean, we're going to have other things to do to get our atlas running, but... Important things to make sure that we're finally at... Really, like high tier maps. Okay. Of those after. Hi, Coral. One of these is Elrion, isn't it? That one is. I'll check really quick. Elrion's Veiled, I'm pretty sure, is valuable on some. Uh, I'll have to check when I actually get back to the base. Think about starting collecting veiled items and just selling them off as veiled. Might be worth it to do it that way. Hi, Vol. Hi, Vol. We still have the uh, unusual adversaries. I think that's what it's called. Unseen adversaries. 
The one that spawns Mount Bosses occasionally. Honestly, I like it so far. It's a bit scary when you have, like, the higher tier maps, but for now, I've been liking it. I mean, the DPS of this character should be more than enough to keep up. A few extra map bosses really shouldn't be in it. Should be good XP. I wonder if you could do a combo or exiles or like bringing in more rogue exiles where you take invasive adversaries to give a chance of spawning map bosses at random and then you take royal guard where map bosses of 20% chance be accompanied by two rogue exile bodyguards. I don't know if those work together. But it is an interesting concept. I don't even I don't have that taken here. Grab that here. That was one. Yeah, that goes. Oh no, that was brought back. Still not used to having multiple trees. That it still feels strange to me. It's very nice though. Like, do not. Do not mistake that for a complaint. <laughs> I have been waiting for this upgrade for a long time. I mean, originally, what I thought the upgrade was and what I hoped it would be, would be a different Atlas Passive Tree on each character. So you had you have all the points from all the things that you've completed, but you got to apply them differently for each character. This is honestly a much better system. My hopes were a bit too minor, apparently. I'm glad that we got something that is as fully featured as this. Get all the rares. Take all the rare modifiers. Nom nom. Gotta get all the rare modifiers before the way. Yep. Um. Okay, grab the boss one here. Oh, I still haven't changed out the Righteous Fire for the Ball Blade Vortex with a uh, Killing Strike on it. I should do that when I get you. It's going to matter way more when I'm actually bossing. Because, like, these are just map bosses. I can just crush them with DPS. That's, that's not an issue.
But like actual bosses, it's going to matter. Nice. Stop that. Now I can start moving towards the wrong box stuff. Okay, so we have intervention done. That is... I think it's going to be 10 Mastermind experience per turn, so 30... I'd probably get 45 out of it if I use one of the 150%. Putting scarabs, which I'm out of. Darn. Rare abyss monsters have a 50% chance to drop an additional rare item with an abyssal sock. I like. You get cooling recovery on a jewel? Huh. Okay, let's run the safe house. Get that out of the way. Ideally, we'll be able to hit 94 before we jump into the Katarina fight. Right, we're doing a tier 16 safe house right now. 81% chance, 81% XP starting out. We got 5% from the map last time, and then 2% from the bosses. I guess the safe thing is to say we'll probably get 3% from the map and 2% from the bosses this time. Before completing the map, so about 5% level, I think. We'll see if that prediction comes true or not, though. Can't wait to actually start bossing. I want to try these new tier 17 maps. We'll have to see how much of it is DPS and how much of it is skill. A lot of things in this game can just be crushed with DPS if you have enough. So... We'll see what level of DPS is required. Okay, 4% from the map. Oh, there you are, Elrion. Wondering where you wandered off to. Eighty-eight. Oh, got seven percent. That's a good amount. Percent chance. Light. Oh, Blight has a twenty percent chance to be open. Okay, that's not useful. It's not valuable either. No. I don't get the sense that there's very many valuable scarabs these days. Not sure if that's really a bad thing, though.
Okay. Wait, what did I... What map was that? Oh, I was like, wait, I had two maps and I still have two maps. What map did I just run? <laughs> right. Hideout. Okay. Say, or not hideout. Then they could hide out, so safe house. Okay. 11. Oh, reduce modifier tier. Dead. These are normal. These are all normal pack dens. I can do that. So I picked up some 150% increased intelligence. Earn a scarabs for my maps. That would have been a good. I might honestly have to, like, have to take a moment to do that. Though I don't know if it's going to be really required, because we're going to... We're going to be at Katarina soon anyways. Ooh, Ember of Rats, NC. I still haven't got any frog embers yet, which is sad. Get there eventually. How far can I get? Yeah. What? Oh no, not ambush now! No! Oh, I lost rewards from that. <laughs> okay. Sometimes headhunters are annoying. Oh god. Okay, Ambush actually pulled me away from the explosion. That was pretty nice. Still don't like it, but... I will give it a pass this time. Ah. Button was like, no, you're not allowed to click me. I don't know what it is about the the dropped items and the small buttons and path. Like, it can be really hard to click on them, despite, like, it seems pretty big, but it's, I don't know, it feels harder to click on than it feels like it should. What's up with that? Another tainted, uh, tainted currency ember. Oh, I don't care about. Wait. There's our you. Oh, I saw a door somewhere.
No, you don't. Richie is hard. Oops. Okay, I'm definitely not sacking Vegan. Just, mm, he's Incubator. Okay, maybe I should sack him. <laughs> Incubators are not very useful. The problem is that there's only only 6% more experience. It's kind of a waste to sack him. A waste to sack Breachy too for it. I think I'm going to execute Fagan and... Oh, perfect. Real jam. Nice. Alright. Map is good enough. And we are 91, so we should get pretty close with this next map. Leveling. I'm sure someone will be, like, crying inside that I just destroyed a unique without identifying it and selling it or whatever, but... Honestly, I do it all the time. <laughs> just because if I know a unique isn't worth anything, it's just like, eh, do I need one-third of an alchemy orb? No, not really. It's not worth the time. Easy to just destroy it. Yes, I'm throwing away potential profit, but it gives me time to work on other things. I'm a busy kitty cat. I get... Yeah, I got all this stuff. Okay. And we should be at Katarina more. Barely. I think I'm probably going to level up walking to Katarina. That would make the most sense. Thing is, it's a 200% increased XP area anyways. Okay, hold on. Did I? I think I got that area. Second, I wasn't sure. I'll just need to pick up some breach stones at some point, because we have a couple of breach crafts now just from working on our Katarinas. Okay, Vegan. Your best shot. Translation, die at my feet. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, that'll be enough to get Katarina. I need one more map. No, no, those are special. Ooh, 
Ooh, Scarab of Doubling. Oh, it's worth 4C. Nice. That is one of the few valuable Scarabs I've encountered. That chest dropped one rare, and that's it. What did this one drop? Oh, just shitty incubators? Well, okay, I'll... I'll use them. As well. Don't hurt. If the item drops and it's not valuable, then my loot filter will just make it go away. <laughs> Eleven of these? Oh, apparently, okay, hmm. Maybe we should sell these, if they're that valuable. I thought I'm a little 85 gold flask. Uh, five or six. That's the Coral Veil. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense that that's viable. Okay, so we can run Arena with... Huh? Just, I'm just going to make sure that June is on. And what should else should I add? Let's add some extra incursion monsters. Why not? Hmm. Yeah. I think we need to do at least one more Maven's Writ. Or not Maven's Writ, um, Maven's Invitation. Or the map bosses. So, I'll work on that. You know, rather than just getting something random from this list, because most things in this list are not actually really worth my time, I should just pick Domination. The same price as for favors. Orbs of Alteration, XP, Lesser Shrine, Corrupting Tempest. Hi, hi. Okay. Eight corrupting tempest, so sure, go with that ninety nine percent XP. Nice, getting close. I don't actually know where my next point goes. I guess it's in the path of building. I need to get that point out of prowess. Prowess? Prowess, yeah. Oh, I also randomly got a Chaos Res uh, tattoo. So I just threw it. I have extra intelligence, so... I can trade out some of my small intelligence passives for some chaos resistance. Really, chaos resistance right now. Yay, 94! Hello, it. Hello, Corel. Bye, both of you. You? Up. And... I don't want to lose the Breach Scarabs. There's no point making a relationship, because the relationships are going to get reset once we do that arena, which is... Almost immediately. Uh, I can get two... 
I get 14 points into Intervent. If I do this. Next area. Ooh. Minion. Oh no. Oh no, is this a repeating? Oh, it's a Covetous Shrine. Oh, it's a Covetous Shrine, nice. I thought it was one of the repeating shrines. I was like, no, I don't need to repeat my skills. Almost nothing I have benefits from it. Ooh, being able to reopen a revive uh, with Onslaught. Strongbox is amazing. Oh, no, that night. Oh. Massive. Massive. Another Covetous Shrine, wow. Oh, y'all are big boys. Huck! Hi, Huck. I will save you from the small box you've been put in for some reason. Funny the concept of just one of the rogues popping out of the, of the smuggler's caches, because that means he was, like, sitting in there. Like, canonically. It's like hiding in there, waiting. It's like, aha, I hope someone comes into this random map at some point and needs me. Ow. Red Meteor. Unless the canonical thing is that it's just a... It's like a wormhole or something. I'll take some intervention XP. Okay, where is next? Either have a fortification or a transportation coming up. Try this way. Wildwood treants. Is that is that omens? I swear, I haven't noticed the... Oh, no, I just saw the uh, incursion people. I was wondering. I must be killing them without notice. Oh, gosh, there's a lot in here. Hi, Tora. You had... Uh, sleeping with the Minotaurs. Looks of it. Not literally. Er... No other, there's no point. No point imprisoning her. Since she's going to be freed as soon as we go after Katarina. So I'll take four intervention experience over nothing. Oh. Where's... where's the out? I'm lost again! Okay, well, neither of those were the right way. Okay, actually, I'm gonna check this really quickly, just in case, because I don't want to make myself look too... No. Okay, yeah, here it is. Oh, Entity of the Void. Cool. From, uh... Laboratory? Laboratory. Laboratory? Laboratory. Hmm. 
Why are there Shaper people here? Oh, right, this is Shaper influence. How about that? Where does our new point go? I need to actually pick up the exposure buff for my gloves. Like, actually buy the embers required to make it, but this is technically where I should be putting it. But since I don't have that yet, I'm going to just give myself some health. Okay, Katarina's next. That's actually not a bad amulet. Oh, I'll look at it later. Okay, Katarina. What do you have for me? Yeah, it goes tier 16. Okay. Stay here so that she acts forwards. Practically every one of her abilities locks her in place. Or has a notable cast time. So you can pretty much just move once every like three or four seconds. Fine. At least in the first fight. Her, it, that still stays true to some extent in the main fight, but there are other factors going on in the arena, like random mobs and the different phases and flames from the center, fire. The thing that definitely helps with Katarina is keeping an eye on what she's doing and waiting for her to make a move. Because once she makes a move, she's going to be locked there for a good 2-3 seconds. So that's more than enough time to sidestep and then attack a few times. Especially if you're a mind build. You can throw a whole lot of mines in that time. I think I throw... I think my mind throwing speed is like 0.4 of a second. So... Five throws per two seconds. Something like that. Okay, I am going to guess that she will go left. Oh, behind me. Interesting. Okay, and we're going to have Iceling. No, Riker. I'm not sure if it's random who gets sent out when, or if there's a pattern that I just haven't paid attention to. More than likely, there's a pattern. Okay, who's next? can tell because the spirits go away from them, Corel. Then the gain flash charges phase, killing random shit. I say bottom right. Ow! You didn't even move! That's unfair. Thought we had some rules of engagement here, Katarina.
Isling. Okay. And I need to move out of this way to flames. Power this. Nope, you are not slamming me. Now we're good. Lock. All right, she's going to slam that one and teleport up here. And gone. Okay, Veiled Chaos Orb. Veiled, 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 Veiled. Come on. Come on. Veiled Chaos Orb from Mummy. Darn. Oh, well. Urkel's toe? Surger's tongue. Huh. Hmm. A lot of similar to Surger's tongue. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. Oh, I must have failed to corrupt conservatory before doing it. Oops. The uh the Imperial Skein looks a whole lot like the Divinarius. Oh, because it is an Imperial Skein, so I was like, did I get a Divinarius? <laughs> I don't actually know where Divinarius comes from. Okay. Hmm. All right, well, I'll just sell this as it. But a basic ultimatum scare is valuable. Oh, they're being lit up, but they're not valuable. A lot of gems. I'll have to sort out... I'll have to sort my gems later. But I should probably update my... Loot filter because it's been a week or so. Make sure that it's up to date with uh, what things currently are. Oh, perfect fossils. Nice. Because the market changes fairly often. So. Some things might be highlighted because they were valuable. Go. Other things might just be highlighted because they're desirable, even if they're not valuable. A horde of unsorted gems. All the level one. Ungems are the ones that are unsorted. 
The rest of them I have actually sorted. Also, I have two portal gems, but despite that, I'm not using one at all. <laughs> Just because I really like having the portal scroll key. It's really nice. Like I will, I'm okay giving up a uh, lot for that. Okay. Corrupt. I had saved conservatory and got rarity. Try this again. Chaos orb, nice. The Ember of Rats is worth about 10. Okay, so that would give me more things to drop Chaos Orbs. Oh, it's nice. Oh, I've never Ember of Rats, actually. Just does tell give. That's 15 to Rats, which is 13. I'll calculate that. the crit ones on the low density tax size ones. I don't really have any crit resistance. I just have general resistance to damage. I used to very very devoutly always pick a uh, at least at least 60% crit resistance on all my characters, but I just haven't seen the need as of the Chaos Orbs. I get okay. I want to check this corner just because the rats are valuable. So I want to make sure that I'm get, getting all of them. That's chimera. Is that a chimera veiled or a normal? Okay, I'll keep that. Yeah, I think the... I think adding the Ember of Rats was worth Chaos Orb. We'll see how much we actually end up getting, but I think it was worth it. Wait, no. That 12, 12 chaos to mark what I have. Separate the 9. So we've got 12 chaos so far from the rats. The ember is worth 
about 15, let's say, to be conservative. Extreme Monsters. Ooh, being able to double open a stream of monsters strong box is nice. Oh, I got not only did I get a lot of modifiers there, I also got Soul Eater. Oh, that is a lot of rats. I wonder if the rats that spawn in June's area in the research safe house, not research safe house, in the research bunker, count towards the rats that I have dropping chaos orbs. Because, like, I don't think they would. Because usually it's like naturally spawned stuff. I don't know if that counts naturally. I do look forward to finding out though. There's definitely a lot of rats in here, though, so if I don't see at least a few Chaos Orbs, then it's definitely not going to be affected by it. Hello, Ren? Yeah, it doesn't look like they're affected by it. That's what I thought. Go test those things, though, because who knows? Maybe you'll stumble upon something crazy. Yum. Oh, I thought there was less here. There is more here than I expected. Okay, I'm going to disable my 4C trading tab. I can still fill it, but I don't want to be doing 4C trades. Aim. I just don't think it's a good use of my time. Or your time, more correctly. to build up new relationships. All the relationships were wiped out when we did Katarina. So we want to make sure that the different uh, the different rogues have like rivals and trusteds because that affects whether those other people will appear when the people they trust or rivals will here. More rogues that appear, the more intelligence you get basically per area. Okay, I got 31 from that. That's pretty good. Okay. So, I think I just have Duncan City... Oh, I have excavation. Good. What's next? Flooded mine. Arena. 
and Castle Ruins and then I'm done for apps. Non unique. No new one. I think I only have one Orb of Horizon right now, so I'm trying to be kind of sparing with it. Okay, this almost certainly will give me something. Yep, Castle Ruins. Okay, put Castle Ruins aside for now. Right now, I need the yellow map so it doesn't need to be corrupted. Mmm. <laughs> Oh god! Less effective curses, cannot regen life, mana, or energy shield, reduce maximum resistances, temporal chains, and emptiness. That is the worst possible option. That is the worst possible scenario. That is a lot of pack size. A lot of pack size. Okay. Well, I gotta make I gotta make some sort of use of that. There's no way that I can just walk past that. Okay. What do I want to put on there? Hunter. What's the lowest level one? Actually, I should use the lowest. Better to get rid of those. Nine to eighteen. Act leader drops the quality joy. Right, I did not pay attention to that. I want the I want to pick something that is good pack monster. Yeah, okay. There we go. There we go. 20 23 to 30 pack monsters that drop splinters of tell. Hmm. Now I'm starting to wonder, does my... <laughs> does my loot filter actually show me single splinters or not? I guess we'll find that out pretty quickly. I should do research one here. Man. How dare you lock me in a corner? Oh my gosh, so many things. Wait, those are my frost shields, aren't they? Or frost walls. I almost certainly ate that modifier and I'm doing it now. Hopefully not, because I don't want to have a bunch of frost walls be wandering around. <laughs> yeah, sure.
Bridge rings are probably not worth collecting, but yes. I like the concept of bridge rings too. I feel like they could be really good. Wait. Wait. General! This is generally good. Okay, Mr. Lionheart. I'd like to have a few words. And all of those words are die. Ooh. You're dead. Stop doing things. Stop doing things when you die, please. That's what's supposed to happen. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I should not have jumped right into that. That was a bit of a mess to jump into. Also, we have the question answered of whether it's going to show my splinters or not, because it does show single splinters. Must be my upper level one that doesn't. M traps. Equipment. Take. Could put a level three because if I if I move where, wait no this doesn't swap them this just moves Gravitic Graviticus. I'm gonna do that or Gr Gravitius. What would be s M? Which is a response to the omens, not to just random beasts. <laughs> that wouldn't make a lot of sense, now would it? Oh no. Oh no, it's the Divine Shrine. Ah! Divine Shrines are kind of scary, because even if the monsters surrounding them are kind of weak, then... You still are worried that they're just going to keep hitting you. Because things that die very quickly often are the ones that also do a lot of damage. So if they're completely immune, then you get a bit more nerve wracking. Son of Lazar. Okay, let's get uh, Hammer Daddy over here. Alternate atlases. I think that's me unlocking the last atlas passive tree. That is a lot of tell people. jump in the middle of these things. One of these days I'm going to learn that the hard way. Trial core. That's catalyst. Oh. Oh! Trial ultimatum. Right. I still don't associate ultimatum and catalysts. To see. I guess the first. I think divination cards, because generally divination cards can be extremely valuable, versus currency is usually just a flat small amount. Oh, there's Arena, which I didn't properly. Two splinters. Oh, is the Prandus coin? Cedic. Nice. Okay. Er, you didn't roll incredibly well. 
Doc, you rolled terribly. Honest. Isling. Isling. Just orbs of feet. Oh, that was the six link. I was not paying attention, but I mean, I don't really care, honestly. Okay, should we go do the hell map? Yeah, we should go do the hell map. Okay, what if this... What if this is gonna destroy me? So I can ignore element of weakness, and the rare monsters are a boost for me. Temporal Chains isn't gonna stop me too much, doesn't really decrease my DPS. Too much. Uh, maximum resistance is gonna suck, but I just need to stay away from things. Curses, I'll just avoid cursing things, at least not in Feeble. The can't regenerate life, mana, or energy shield is the problem. I'm gonna need to bring my flask with me. No run fast. I am not going to spend a huge amount of time in this map. I am not going to get any boots. Give mm. chance to freeze to the highest thing because nothing can be frozen. I can't be frozen. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna basically just rush to. Uh, not Kieran. Creighton. I need to remember that my... Mana and life... Except I have Grave Keeper's Blessing. Which is going to give me mana. Okay, actually that's going to make this map a lot easier. Oh, no six link. Good. Mm. Go away. Eh. Very nervous dealing with intervention people with such a heavy, heavy amount of awful modifiers. Ah, shit. What's that? Don't act. Okay. I just want you to like on. Um... Oh, fuck. And another corpse, please, drop. Would make my life so much easier. Corpse would drop. Any of those? Okay, fuck. Not tank him. Because I do not have my normal level of defense. I don't care about the rest of this map. I'm not doing it. Not worth dying. Oh, I'm level 83. Oh, it's corrupted. Gosh darn it. Hate. I hate. Corruption. <laughs> I hate pre-corrupted items. They're awful. Oh. Come on. There we go. Might be worth 10. I have an extra thicket. Do I have thicket done? Yeah, I do. Okay. 
Okay, Arena. Let's try this again. Eight and feeble, whatever. I can t I can tank and feeble. That's not as nearly as big a deal as ant regen. Ant regen sucks. So we should stop and do the safe house. I'm not as concerned about how much XP I get from this, because I'm still very, very low in the XP count for this level, so... I... I stop... I, st I try to stop worrying about XP a bit more when I get... when I'm in the higher levels, just because one single death can put you back, like, ten maps worth of XP, so... Paying too much attention to it's just gonna cause me stress. Very, very effectively cosmic stress. That's why I like buying XP service. Like like the domain of eternal death. Domain of eternal conflict? Doesn't that sound right? Everyone calls it cut five ways. I want, like, one day to actually learn how the five-way build work, because they need to have enough AoE to hit an entire map, basically, at all times. I don't know how the heck they managed to do that. Hey, Tora. Stop hiding in the corner. Oh boy, a complete set of her mask. <laughs> I did not have enough time to process that, but a 2020 is definitely worth it because you can still convert it into another gem. How's a corals fail to me? But now, back to actually doing shit that I care about. Not that I didn't care about this but the safe house, but I mean like I'm Glad to not be doing the, uh, the can't regen map. It's it's still haunting me. <sighs> Should actually be using up some. Dying operators. Let's replace them with all fight gold. Uh, let's give the lions thing as they can't tell. I think a lot of the mod the negative modifiers are finding monsters that are incompatible with them and then putting the incompatible modifiers together. Or the incompatible modifier with the monster that you don't have to worry about. It. That just nullifies it.
Oh my gosh. Sometimes the revived ones are kind of a surprise. Out, nothing interesting there. I don't know what modifiers can actually roll on fall aside areas. That's never been something that I've been heavily to knowledge of. But I'm always looking to see if it's like, oh, drop a divine orb or something. Because I don't know for sure that those aren't there. Oh, they're over there. That's what's going on. I'm wondering why it wasn't going okay. Ow, 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 ow. What has so many projectiles? Oh, it's the golems. Alright, golems suck with projectiles. Oh, enfeeble hurts. I kind of miss being able to summon strong boxes with my sulfite, but it's just not as valuable as being able to duplicate divination cards or stuff like that in my strong boxes. Ooh, the the projectiles are really, really rough from the sulfite golems. I'll have to keep a note of that because I, I mean, I've been using sulfite golems to replace things like monsters I don't want to deal with. So if it puts something dangerous there. Instead, I have to be careful. There we go. Oh, an eradicator map. Nice. I think I've done any Elder Guardians yet. I mean, I don't think. I think the only thing I've done is a uh, Elder Slayer. Nothing there, it's grabbing my... Because <laughs> I've never done a Minotaur, it's putting the Minotaur and the Chimera out. Funny. Almost all of these maps are Sunken City, because I don't have Sunken City done. Uh, well, okay, if the option is... Do Sunken City or do a Maze of the Minotaur or Chimera. I'm going to pick the Chimera or Minotaur. That's going to be way better. Ooh. Additional endurance charges, increased life, bosses are possessed, spell damage suppressed. Ugh. More monster life, more crit, spell damage suppressed. Okay, so... The Chimera one is a little bit less terrifying. Yeah, they're probably going to go for the Chimera then. First, though, I am going to go fill up my water. Staying hydrated is important. Good chance to stretch and stuff. I will be right back in a moment, and then we will continue. Welcome back, everyone. 
So I noticed something kind of interesting as I was sitting down from the break. I don't really read the blurbs very often for these. What Kyriak is saying, Fading echoes of power still resonate in this old map. Or, in this map. They're old but not ancient, and vaguely remind me of someone I used to work with. It's very odd and likely dangerous. Keep on your toes. Pausing that for a second. So, what this, if I understand correctly, is a reference to, is it probably reminds him of Zana, because Zana's magic energy is the same as her father's. For those who aren't familiar with Zana's father is, Zana being like the main cartographer who for the longest time in Path was the one who taught the player how to do the Atlas stuff. Her father went insane and became the Shaper, so the big end boss of the game. Because he spent too long in the Atlas and the corrupting powers of it uh, drove him mad because he wasn't able to tell the difference between reality and fiction and wasn't able to get out of the atlas, so it kind of went him and made him go insane. So the shaper's powers, being this the shaper guardian, would give him the feel of Zonus. Uh, her father's magic is very similar to her magic. Anyways, little Pee history lesson. First Chimera of the League. Oh yeah, and we have no Lantern modifiers since the Kurek mission, so this is less interesting there. Also means I'm not going to have access to Gravekeepers, but sucks. I'm starting to get used to using the Gravekeeper's boon, so like a uh, buff when you pick up a corpse as like a means of extra defense. Pretty nice. I'm sorry, Tusion, but a Chimera map is not the time to the wrong map. Go somewhere else. I feel, I can feel the difference in power with uh, having the spell suppression in place. I am, I'm definitely struggling a lot more than I should be with these because of it. That is weird seeing an ember in a shaper map. No, 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 no. Okay. Yes, I got the energy shield aura. Oh my gosh, there's 4,000 energy shield. That is a very big aura. Can I get to the Chimera, quickly? If I can get to the Chimera quickly, I might actually be able to against him. Yep, there you are. I'll have the order for another 20-ish seconds, probably. Uh, I'm Arrow. Uh, okay, next area. Or next phase. What's next? This. Oh, I got I had face run going.
Let's not stand desecrated ground, shall we? Shall not we? Okay. Let's go time. Like ice cream time, except for there's goats and no ice cream. Honestly, I prefer ice cream time. Now, this is one of those times where I really would like to have Calling Strike. That would be kind of nice. But I guess I don't really need it. Even heavily suppressed. With, like... With... Even with... Spell suppression in place and dramatically more monster life. I'm still able to out damage him to the point that 10% life is, is not a big deal to get down. To. Also, the main reason I'm bragging is just because I'm proud of this build a lot. Very, very proud. How that has turned out so well. So, so we have a Radicator and a... Oh, actually, since I activated Kirak Mission. Not much. And Spirits. Again? Into the spirits. No. Oh. Gosh darn it. Into the spirits. Um, might be worth it. Not a 10 C. Not worth buying for 10. Trying to see if any of the imp buying. Sale. Oh, you have a bolt of it. Love to, but that would be a waste of my red map, seeing as I have. Hmm, I wonder what map I don't have done. Is it maybe Plateau? 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 Blighted Plateau? Plateau? Or Flooded Mine? None of those are actually. Give me something that has divination cards or something. Ooh. God damn it! <laughs> oh, temporal chains can't regen spell suppression possessed boss. No. No. Why do you hate me? No. <laughs> yes. Better than that. Ooh, divination cards. Do it. Oh, it's not corrupted, so I'm not going to get the full. I have the corrupted one, right? Yeah. That's a baron. 
might actually. I might go stop and fight Baron. <laughs> I gotta fight Baron. That is absolutely. Cool. I had more Kirak. I have to be kind of careful. Aaron is the most annoying, I find, of all of the players. Mainly because he spells. Spells and lightning. And there's not a huge amount of... Not a whole lot of good options for spell defense, like... Uh. I mean, you can get d damage reduction from physical spells if you get specific types of physical damage reduction. But that's, again, only for physical. You can get spell suppression, which is what I have, to decrease the damage that you take. I have some pretty high spell suppression, so that will help me probably as much as it could possibly help me. The other option is to convert your spell suppression to spell dodge. Here, unlike spell suppression, where you still take about 50% of the damage, spell dodge is usually a much lower chance because it's converted at a... Uh, not an amazing ratio, uh, but it completely avoids the damage. I could go Spell Dodge. I have it right on my tree where I am already. But with the current amount of Spell Suppression, I can calmly prevent enough damage to take care of it, because I am a high, high regen build. Yeah. Being that I'm a saboteur. Saboteur is a lot of access to... I mean, I have 10% regen, uh, so 10% of my health as, as regenerated as life every second, so long as I continue to use my mind. That's a pretty darn good deal. Plus, I believe I still have the 2.5% extra uh, for if I've detonated a mine recently, just from mine... from the mine... Oh my gosh, brain work. From the mine mastery. There we go. Hi, Baron. Ah. <sighs> That's the scary moment where I'm like, I wish I had Calling Strike! <laughs> oh. Okay, well, I should keep going in here so I can get some Baron. I can get some Baron uh, rare items. Baron influence rare items. That would be good.
But maybe it's not really worth doing too much. Seeing as there are a lot of ways to make money. Please. This probably isn't the most efficient way. Especially seeing as I don't have access to any of my Atlas passives while I'm working on Iraq. Very stripped down bird. That a set a, a set for Cirrus is only thirty two C. How? That is not very much. A set for a set for the shaper is also thirty two C. Okay, that is not very much. Well, let's get working on paper thing in that case. Well, that much is chaos. And... That'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? No, I'm not Maven Wit. Wait, if I Maven Witness that, I get I'll be able to do. Increasing the modifiers not really work a lot of the time. Like, I would ideally prefer to increase the Noble Haunted to a Magistrate. Good. I can get the benefit. That's annoying. Whatever. I think this is like a maximum tier that's you can end up with the haunted modifiers. What? For the false god. Only worth one C. I wonder if it forces for armor. Yeah, I think I think it might actually force more armor drops, which means you could use that with the with the dropped armor. Or dropped armor and dropped weapon modifiers, devoted ones for like ah convert this into X currency. Ow. That hurt. A lot. That is a lot of magic creatures under my command. Okay. A chance to farm some rare modifiers. Run around with. Death loses all ranks. Where's it go? Don't care. Oh, where do you want to go? 
Okay, well, this is either going to be really annoying or really useful having... having ambush right now. Ooh, a Malachi's loot. They're good. Okay. Oh, no, I really, I really want... Corpses, thank you very much. Ambush makes it very hard to pick things up. Passive shrine, good. Ooh, gem modifiers. That actually is a valuable one. Uh -huh. Let's not be in the pile of crap. Oh, modifiers going. Oh, uh, yes. Now I can blind things nearby. In addition to my current blind things nearby, so I can double blind things nearby. Which is a joke. Like, I can't double blind things. <laughs> if only, then I could blind while I'm blinding. Oh, wow, yeah. Really, really does not last very long, the, uh, the buff. Hey, okay, please die. Not happy. Displeased. <laughs> Displeased. Hey, you fuck. Give me a fragment. Thank you. Bye. Okay, gem corpses. How much are gem corpses? They are an entire 5C. Earn some money tonight. Ah, the fifteen. Oh, them. Ooh, ooh! Perfect base percentile roll. Near perfect increased ES. That's two. That's a two thirty. Which means it's a 243 when it's done. Powering up. I. I. Price decker to actually work. That's like 29. It can be quite worth it at times to have the... Uh, the uh, high ES Malachi's. Okay, so Hydra's done. Already checked him. Now to eradicate. Radicator, and we're not have uh, can't reach it. Quite corrupted. The bad plan. Well, it wasn't a bad plan.
Okay. I put on this that influence monster packs and packs up. Love to have a Vicinite. Well, that's more strong. Why not? Wait, I should probably go safe house first. So that we can actually continue to run things. So he's going to give me 48 mastermind intelligence. Which I can up to 72. I get the 150% intelligence scare. So, 150% intelligence scare. Absolutely worth going for. Considering. That. One safe house with Verici will be enough to get us to Katarina. Let's actually look for box Arab. I want people to actually respond to me. They're probably not going to actually respond to me if I don't at least buy a few times. No one wants to do one C trades. Or at least no one who has large amounts of stuff wants to. I'm not sure. I'll buy 27 of them. <laughs> Nothing can go wrong there. I mean, I'm going to use them, so I might as well. Yeah, perfect. In that case, the next map I do June plus first. Let's do the safe house. I need to set the safe house up first. I wonder if I get the Orbs on Death modifier when I'm using... Like, you, you wouldn't really be able to tell unless you're dying off. And you're dying when you have the modifier already. Usually if you're dying, you're not killing a whole lot of rares. Usually with Headhunter, you're not dying a whole lot. Most people don't get to having a headhunter and then have a build that dies a lot. Also, Soul Eater. is rapidly decreasing. That's okay. Now I can grab it from other. Get the leader. Okay. Eight scarabs.
Okay. Okay. Armor is chromatic orbs, drops feet. Strongest monster in the high rarity. Now, this map's dangerous enough as it is. I really don't need to be making it. Well, Aquarians are pretty easy to chaos down. Sure, why not? Curiosity, would this read the Mattis right haunted? I don't get what oh it's it's less pack size, it's not less. Eh, quite fine. Okay, a whole lot of things going on this map. So, he should get a lot of Syndicate X, uh, Syndicate progress in this map. This will go very quickly. I have self and talk active. Why well, I put Nico on this map? I'm seven a turn, so we're going to get 14 plus the increase, 21-ish. Okay, grab this to activate the Keeper's Blessing, and then right in here, Grave Keeper's Blessing to keep me safe against the large hordes of creatures. I'm going to be sad when this leg ends. I'm actually really enjoying it. Quite a lot of fun. Thirty XP. Wow. Thirty intelligence per turn. That is pretty crazy, but I'm going to have, I'm going to have Katarina soon, so I don't really want to dump him. Wait, does this not increase Mastermind experience? Oh, in that case, I definitely, I'll do that. I not be getting increased mastermind or progress from yeah uh, scarab increased intelligence gain from mortal syndicate targets okay that doesn't specify that it's not Katarina intelligence 
specifies intelligence. Wish it was a bit clearer. Need some, like, Magic the Gathering level of explanation. They kind of, those, the creators kind of have a reputation for being able to get a lot of detail across in a very small area. Like, with not having a lot of space. Classroom. Alright, so. Yes, yes, I know you're hungry. Button. Okay, first phase done. Um, now into the annoying and vulnerability phase. Ads. Lots of ads. No. Go away. Ooh, first synthesis map of the league. Hey, favorite map slot. Another covetous oh, I feel like I get these a lot. Maybe it's just because I have so many shrines that it's just making them a lot more common. Just by sheer quantity. That. General? No. General. Okay. Lots and lots. Lots of things happening. Lots of rares to eat. Okay, right, this is a bit ridiculous. I just keep showing chaos shards. I don't want chaos shards. A little bit less than half a chaos is not worth picking up. It's just not. I say and then pick up. Rolls of Wisdom. At least my scrolls can can. At least my scrolls can stack with the other one. I already have some. Okay, so, it looks like you do not get an increase to your Mastermind Intelligence from the 150% increased Intelligence Scarab. I think it's just, uh, okay, it's just called Betrayal Scarab of Intelligence. That is unfortunate. It can still help you get to safe houses faster. Though. Still good, it's just works differently than I expected.
is graphics. Do something about orbs overflowish right now. To the necropolis, like the Batman, uh, the Batman changing scene, uh, sound effect. I'm not gonna imitate. It. Might know what I'm talking about. As some and then nothing else does. As an entire four C. Oh boy. Then there's all of this crap. I don't know what to do with all of this stuff, because, like, it's not valuable to me, and I don't... I just... I just don't have something to do with it, I've already done all of the things that I need to do for challenges, too. Fire us doing Try crafting some gauntlets. Gloves that I want. Okay. You know what? Let's let's see what how this works. A turn off. Okay, so we're going to do is there we go. Okay, so let's look at this. So we want to make a that of either Dex int or Dex close. Wait, Dex int. Not that. Oh, you're not allowed to advertise on my stream. Okay, so we are going to use graveyard crafting. Looking for is. I guess fire res, because I have fire res on there currently. Honestly, doesn't even need that high fire res. Anything I can get for chaos res would be great. Love to get strength on here, but I don't think that natively. No, it doesn't need. Okay, so I'm gonna pick life up because I would like to get your three life. Here to evasion and maximum life. Oh, you can advertise on my stream. Stop that. Okay, apparently you can. Uh, yes, energy shield. I'll go three. Just make it easier. I'd love to have an open suffix, but I don't know if that will happen. Okay.
44,000 tries. Okay. Oh, compute best selection. Okay, I've never done this before. No capture. I was hoping it's the size of ads it doesn't look like it's popping up option soon. Yes. It less. Ah. There we go. Okay, so if we do this, it requires 30 tries. That. I don't, I don't like. So to get, so to get Chaos Res on this, it's legitimately telling me I need 9,500% increased chance for Chaos. Seriously? That is a lot. That is a very large amount. Okay, well, I mean... We can try to make some of this work. Let us go back over that wonderful game we Okay. So it I need a bunch of chaos modifiers thing basically. Wait, does do I have to have a wait what? Wait, what what? You corp corpse what the hell is a corpse sequence? Path of exile, what are corpse? Sequences. <laughs> Using the corpse that gives you plus effect per column slash row makes it ideal. Okay, but I'm not... I'm not doing any like increased modifier one looks of it. Or like increased effect of section. I'll do it this way. It happens. Chaos. A lot of modifier general. 
not need explicit modifier in free. What? Modifier tier. Modifier tier. Here. Modifier tier. I do need defense modifiers. Start with that. Probably not enough. That's eight. That's four hundred and fifty percent. Supposed to use plus eleven hundred? Why? Okay. I guess just to make sure it's as high as human possible. Makes some sense. Okay, so I want to have lightning as a sir. Garrison. Where do you add all the chaos ones I can add? I have an increased life one? Yes. Guess I need to increase fire? No. Chance resist fires. Oh, I need those. I don't have those. <laughs> I do not have those at all. I have been selling them. I'll try one. That's not enough, but I mean. I'm trying to do this with what I have. Which means it probably won't be perfect. Eh. I will. I'll work it out, I'm sure. Life. Reduce chance of attribute. Add a add some increased chance of fire ones because I don't have all the increased chance of. If that I need. And I'll decrease chance of other things, so I'm just gonna hope that adding fire will help. I want fire red. Okay, caster. Caster. Speed. I mean, I don't want any speed modifiers. Might as well throw those in, seeing as I don't really have anything else to put in there. Sure, why not? I might as well increase effectiveness of things. Have them, why not use them? A lot of the Hmm. 
Oh, I might as well add an increased chance for split things. That can't hurt. Part of the same row as the other. But not a thing. Find out in a second. Haunted Mon. You know what? Sure, why not? Let's throw that in there. What could possibly go wrong? Right? <laughs> What could possibly go? Okay. I should, I need to connect those together, actually. Anything else here that I could use that would actually, I don't know. Might as well put the quality ones in there, because I don't really have anything else to do with them. So far... So far it's not looking too bad. Gloves... Asian energy... Only four explicit, four modifiers. I ideally five. I'll add a plus one. I'm here. Add some quality. area. Fire. Do I have decreased cold going on? Is that a thing that I've chosen? To I think I've decreased lightning. I've decreased lightning. I'm going to add increase because if I get a cold mod, I can always convert it with harvest to a fire mod, so I'm not that. Don't really want to risk getting a bunch of attack mods. That's not really. Fair. Actually, you see, I have a moment to fuck around with it. I am going to try to. Uh, Randomize. Actually, wait. Before I get rid of that wasn't good. Let's try. And oh no, caster. No increased attack. Much. Do you need to fill up those slots so I can connect those two? See what else do I have? Add everything. Prop list, and I can work there. I always remove things if I need to. Lots of experience. I like to have suffixes. I don't really see a problem with just adding a ton of items. Probably not useful, honestly, but... Why not? Do I have any random open... Sure. And to not consume humanoid one. Why not? Not like I have anything better to do with the face. <laughs> Uh, effect of undead or demon. Thought that that would be useful.
him on. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Oh, they're the little... Oh, the horny ones. Okay. Anything else I could add that would be even remotely useful? Effective beast corpses. I have a beast. Grease it so that it has... Wait, no. I don't know. Add... That's front dead. From modifier values, plus modifier keeping the best outcome. Why not? Lots of time! <laughs> and graves, apparently. Lots and lots of graves. Okay, well, let's see what sort of gloves this makes. This isn't exactly the... <laughs> this isn't exactly what it told me to do, but... <laughs> I mean, sure, let's see what happens. <laughs> uh, okay, evade, no. Patient energy. Okay, this is a chance of break creating a split copy as well. Let's try this and see if we get anything interesting. Oh, apparently I need to do split or mirror copy. That's a lot of gray. Nope. Not the worst thing I've ever seen. It's I have a suffix modifier being blocked by the rarity, which sucks. But the evasion energy shields are really high. I also have, a, have an open prefix there. That raw life. I don't want to see if I can. If I can annul the rarity mod. That would be amazing. This is super dangerous. I mean, okay, if I annul the rarity mod successfully, that's okay. If I hit the sun and block recovery evasion mod, whatever, that's fine. If I hit the cold mod, that's fine. What? Sure. That was not what I wanted to hit. Didn't, like, brick anything, but it was not what I wanted to hit. Okay, I know a 50% chance of hitting something that I want to get rid of. Uh... You know what? That's fine, because I can convert the cold into a fire mod. Okay. The only problem is that it still doesn't have the chaos mod, it still doesn't have an evasion modifier, and it still doesn't have a strength modifier. All of which I need. But making the fire mod at least wouldn't be too hard. The only problem is I'm not going to have very much in the way of life on this at all, seeing as that the max I can craft onto it is 70. And I still, again, need strength and chaos on it. Ideally, at least strength and life. I could just slam a random exalt. Well, I mean... Reason not to do. Better way to do, maybe. Almost assuredly a better. Okay. Fire res.
Hmm. I want to craft strength on something, and I cannot do it on this. Definitely can't do it on this. I'm tempted to try a nulling again to hit the rarity mod. And if I hit the fire or cold mod, it's fine. Okay. That was the one I wanted not to hit. <laughs> oh, that didn't really work the way I wanted it to. Oh, well. Oh, well. At least my necropolis is somewhat empty now. I don't have to worry so much. I should go and snag most people. Don't have to worry. Actually, one second. Let's make an Iolite ring. I have the thing. Iolite ring. Uh, a bunch of prefixes. Don't want defense mods. Love attribute. Prefer to have extra mods. How does this X? Okay. I guess. I guess I could pick. I don't want. Yes, I do. And you might say that this is a complete waste of what I'm doing, but yeah. Welcome home. Nice to see you, hon. How are you today? Lightning mods? If I had lightning mods, I could potentially cut a forest lightning resist. But that could also end up as like plus one to three lightning damage to attacks or something. I'm not sure why the f try this. Okay, one or more monsters. one or more monsters with the same name to of this monster. I wasn't reading that. What the hell does that mean? You know, I need another Vol Totem? I have other Vol Totems? I just waste all these fires. I might have wasted all these monsters. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you do. I think I wasted these mono. I craft from. Well, I hate to do it because. I'm hoping to use it for something. That's was a random defense mono. Two more modifiers over here. I don't know, I'm using defense escape. Sure, what's what's wrong with having conflicting modifiers? Nothing can possibly go wrong. This is already fucked. See? Amethyst ring. Sure, why not? Well, I'm glad you're here. That is useless. That is about what I expected. Oh, well. I do just two increase fires. 
not make a six more. Okay. Do have any other corpses that survived the Armageddon? That uh, just was it more. Life, bad energy, bad life, and bad resistance. Amethyst. Terrible, as expected. You know what? Sure. One last, one last one. We're gonna do. Explicit modifier. Lightning, and we are going to craft. As ring. Get a double lightning ring. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of chaos red. Fortunate that all the other modifiers are shit. Does have an open modifier for life though. Also, it has increased lightning damage. That might be worth an entire 4C. Oh my gosh. I'm not picking up the rest of them, because they all suck. Well, that's one way to clear it. I didn't clear it the Necropolis, I just got sidetracked doing weird fucky stuff. Way so that Empty Acropolis. Shit. Back to doing. What's still left of my atlas that isn't a unique map? So we have the tier eight sunken city still. That's not changing. Yes. Yes, I get a very lucky. We do call it chaos. I just it's it's usually written in my mind as I say for. Must make Sunken City map. That's going to be rather hard to do. Still trying. Turn it. Ah, okay. Lava Lake. Is there anything? It's sunk. Okay, so we have flooded mine, mine, and we have plateau and tier six. Yeah, that's not very much to do. Okay, so best way for us to do. Uh, 
Go on to POE map dot trade. Say that this is what I didn't. Craft mineral. Oh, it's that one random person that seems to always be online but never seems. Plato too. Have thicket. Arn, gotta say it's. Huey map dot trade hasn't been very useful. Most people who seem to be on it are just offline for some reason. I don't really understand what the point is of doing it if you're just going to be offline. Oh, well, whatever. We'll get to the special map that we need. Oh, I have no Kirak missions. Okay, well, the easiest way to get more maps that we need uh, new maps of the tier that we are talking about. Don't worry about the tier. I'll do. I'm Dominations, Arabs, and get extra XP. X Arch, and we'll add Dominion so we can add even more shrine. Oh, convert weapon, drop weapons to chaos. Yeah. Oh, we don't have any high pack density ones. Shit. That's not ideal. Not ideal at all. That's terribly not ideal. Oh no, this this area is too high level for me to use the rogues. Shoot. The problem. Oh fluff, that's Oh, I guess I can use the Ember of the False Gods. That's not as good. That's more likely to drop more. Not the same amount as... Not the same amount as the Exiles do. I need to get some higher tier. That's frustrating. I guess I need, like, 78 or 79. Those, because we're... Weird set of modifiers, I have to say. Okay, whatever. We'll see how all that works. <laughs> or possessed and tanky. Sentence and a Malachi's loot. See how these increased XP buffs are. The map boss. Okay. Oh, because we're doing a tier 16. Um, oh, it's Kadoka. We're doing a tier 16. Uh, um, Searing X Arch map, so it's actually probably going to give us the or Searing X Arch fight finally.
Gotta love increased XP. Not a huge amount, but also I'm a pretty high level. Not gonna seem like very much. I say it makes me nervous having the explosions constantly because I never know whose detonate dead that is. I, I know right now it's mine, but I wouldn't know if there was one that wasn't mine, that's for sure. Oh cool, Kadoka. Kadoka seems to be consistently giving me like five chaos apiece. That looks like an alternative to the rogue exile stuff. Oh, another Kadoka. Way oh, chaos on that one. I feel like the XP post has been somewhat effective. I think it's getting me some. I should have actually checked how much XP I had at the start, but I did not remember. That. It helps to have data if you're trying to compare data. <laughs> Ah, uh, incandescent in invitation. Yeah, I mean, like, it's not, like, such a big deal, but, like, data really helps for, for having data. You know, it's one of those extra little things you don't... Person's name is Cat Meow Ooh. I like. I got 18C off of that. So. Pretty good. Full shit ton of. And I need. No, it's gone. It must not have left me. Enough. That is Joker one. That was much worse. <laughs> and so is that. Ooh, that's a 16% attack speed once. That's almost a max. Oh, I have Agnorod. Or three Agnorods. I hope there's more maps in there. I didn't really get many maps. I have much many maps to sustain me either. Let's see if I can suss out some. Twentieth one. Nice little bit. Not a huge amount, but nice. Okay, yeah, there was not a lot of maps in that map. <laughs> I probably should have used cartography scarabs in retrospect. But, or... 
We have 15. Work. Spell suppression. Really prefer not to. I like that less, but I can still work with that. Okay. We are going to use the improved. Oh, we don't. Have... Oh, we don't need the improved tier ones. The plus one to tier map drop. Okay, I'll grab that and I'll grab Oops. See how that goes. Grab me. Oh. Sure, let's do that. That's okay. Okay, yeah, that that probably won't be too dangerous. That few. Okay, maps. Oh no, that is a divine shrine. There we go. That was slightly scary for a second, but we're okay now. That was two divine shrines. I should not have picked the second one. I could have held on to that. Not gonna not gonna pick that up. I don't need fences. I'm literally invulnerable. Get back here! Don't walk away from me. Just the rare just goes jaunting off. Just like, oh, I'd rather be over here now. No. No, you don't. Not how we do this. And Divine Shrine's over. Yum. Now we get this. Now we grab all the corpses for Gravekeeper. Divine Shrines make you invulnerable. Just straight up. Which is also what makes them scary, because you have to collect the... You, to be able to collect, you have to click on it. So you kind of have to be able to get around all the invulnerable monsters to do that. Always makes me a bit nervous, because... A lot of weak monsters are a lot stronger than they appear just because they usually die before they can hit you, but when they actually do hit you, it's a lot more dangerous. Projectiles! All the projectiles! Go... Uh, 
I did get some tier 16s, so that's the important. My map sustain has been fixed. Probably. Okay, I guess I shouldn't say it's fixed because I got one map. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Random corridor of nothingness. Alt, goodbye. Treasure piles probably are not worth clicking on by. I haven't really got a chance to do much in the way of castle room. Only with that can't regen map. That sucks. Not do much of that. Deals charge. Whatever. Fine. Okay, we need maps. Ideally, I would like to have a unique map drop from the final box. So, actually, I would prefer to do... I don't know if the Scarab of Singularity has an effect if, there, if there's a if wind map. Test that. Sake of science. Okay, two map bosses. Perfect. Back what I was looking for. The reduced effect of cursed auras and hex proof is kind of annoying. Rooms convers. Care about any of that. Let's clear a castle. Find the wall first. Ideally, an altar. That would be nice. Thick. There we go. That was an important shrine, I probably would have tried not to double up on it, but it's not, so I did. Eleven, good. Look forward to seeing Creighton, if the two Creightons each drop of their own map. Oh, great. Boom. Zoom. At Zoom.
are some Trying to fit with with ease it wasn't wasn't happening. Done. Yum. Nope, only one minute. Well, the question's answered, at least. Do I have... Maybe I should do some harbingers so I can get a single horizon shard. <laughs> that sounds like a fun plan. Sounds like something that would be very useful. In fact. Drop a single. Ah, oh, screw. Harbinger. Gonna put a bunch of harbingers. I will get what I need. Add some more. <laughs> Those aren't very good modifiers. Rarity is not that useful. So. I guess if you're trying to find fractured, I fractured. Ow. I thought I moved out of the way of that. I did not. There we go. Horizon. Yay. Maybe I should deal with the Harpingers first. Before I add any more hell to my screen. Oh, well, there was assassins in that mess. I don't think they enjoyed that. Cards? Lots of horizons. Lots and lots of horizons. Wait, this makes me wonder, if you... If you pick the convert on death and put the uh, like a, one of those legion modifiers on it, it makes you wonder if legion modifier would uh, or the legion ember 
it would also extend to like timeless monolith legion people too Ah, my random witches are helping me. Converted witch. Very interesting having converted monster fighting for. Makes me wish conversion trap was used. Well, I mean, that's basically Path. Lots of lights and noises. Would you believe that I actually took out, like, a large portion of the visual effects that would have been on the screen? Because I stopped doing Delirium specifically so it would be easier to understand what's going on. Which took out a lot of the visual clutter. There she is. Can I upgrade? Eyes losing. Sure. Try eyes laying up there. Probably should have just relaxed, actually. That was not not really much of a point. Imprisoning her for three. Allergen. They increase the speed that harbingers drop their or like create their fields to summon things. Way faster than before, which I honestly prefer because honestly, because I found that it was kind of slow waiting for them to drop actually spawn the things that they're supposed to. That's fair. Is that heartbreaker? Heartbreaker. Imperial skein, so I'm always looking if it's a Divinarius. Yeah, Soul Eater! Ow! That was like 3,000 life off of me.
I'm going to have at least one Horizon Orb. That makes me happy. I could probably buy Horizon Orbs. I didn't... <laughs> wow, I didn't even consider that I could just buy them. They're probably next to worthless. I could, I could probably buy thousands if I wanted, thinking of it now. What are they worth? Oh my god, they're six to a chaos. I could buy... I could buy literally thousands. <laughs> Uh, sometimes I forget that I can just buy things. Like, I'm obsessed with doing things only with the equipment I have already. I'm trying to make it work. You're shaking my head. It's just silly. In retrospect. Alright, I'll come back. Heartbreaker? Heartbreaker. Oh, it max rolls spell damage. It almost max rolled uh, energy shield for his uh, start time thing. Oh. Okay. That's worth a few chaos. We'll have a replica heartbreaker. Okay, we are going to do one more thing tonight before we call it, and that is, as a finale, we are going to do the Incandescent Invitation. And hopefully I won't lose all 41% of my XP. This is the Babby... Uh, Syriac's Arch. The initial one that is weaker than the ones that the, the ones you get later, like the tutorial one. Oh, I was trying to damage race him. <laughs> I should have known that wasn't going to work. <laughs> the problem is I was trying to try to avoid this phase. I hate this phase. <laughs> Ow. This is the phase I hate. I am awful at it. And I've been told before, like, oh, you can just put, put totems in the way to block them. It's not that easy. That is hard to do in the moment. Yo! Oh, you fucker. I lose all my XP. Be worth it. Worth it for the content. Ow. What are you charging that? You rude fucker. Rude little fucker! Please, no, do not, do not ball me. 
Okay. I'm good. I have the thingy. Ugh. That was, like, so much worse than it had to be. <laughs> if I was just good at the fight, it would not have been that bad. Uh, 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 the Dawn Destroyers work. Void stone, no. Void stone. Void stone. I lost forty one percent of such dumb plan. Oh wow. Whatever. XP can be regained. Okay. Oh. Mm, big stretch. Okay. Thank you all for coming today. I greatly appreciate you all. For everyone who's here and has been here, thank you so much for coming. You will... Be able to see me again live on uh, this coming Tuesday, because I Tuesday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Thursday at 2 p.m. PST, 5 p.m. EST. I'm trying to put out a few videos a week on the highlight channel. I'm trying to keep up with the odds. Things are going to be a bit shaky with getting the highlight videos out for the next little while, but I'm, I'm working on it. Thank you all so much for watching. And I hope you have a great night. Bye. Yeah. No. 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 Come on, Obia. Oh. Uh...